Okay, in this section, we are going to talk about uh, projectile motion and we're going to discuss the path of a projectile motion. We are going to find out what path does a projectile take. Let's consider our x and y axis. So here are our x and y axis. So let me just write them down. Here's x and here's y. Now consider an object thrown with an initial velocity, I'll just call that as v0, here it is, and let's say that the angle that this one's making is an angle alpha. How do we calculate the path of this projectile? Well, all we have to do is find an equation that connects x and y, and then by looking at that equation, we can find out what the path is. For example, if the equation turns out to be linear, then we know it's a straight line, but we do know that it's not going to be linear. So all we have to do is try to figure out what is the connection between the x and the y uh, uh, components. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to decompose that vector. Uh, I can decompose it into the vertical component and the horizontal one. And we all know now the horizontal component is going to be v0 cos alpha. It's the component which is along alpha. And the vertical component, which is the opposite one, it becomes v0 sin alpha. And uh, let's say that this point, I will call it as O. And let's say after some point T, after some after some time T, uh, it reaches some random point over here. I will call it as A. So this is this is in time T. So in time T, projectile goes from O to A, such that its x direction displacement, I just call it as x, and its y direction displacement is y. So now all I have to do is calculate what is the equation that connects x and y, and then by looking at what kind of equation is, uh, we can figure out what the path is. Uh, remember that there is an acceleration due to gravity in the y direction, and in the x direction there is no acceleration, so it's uniform motion. And therefore I always like to start along the x direction. So I know that velocity along the x direction is v0 cos alpha, and in time t, it travels displacement of x. So the only equation that connects them is s equals ut. This is my equation because there is no acceleration. And uh, so displacement equals v0 cos alpha into t. Now let's go on y-axis. Um, initial velocity we know is be v0 sine alpha. We know the time to be t. We know acceleration is minus g because our upwards is positive. And also, I know the displacement, that is y. And so the equation that we're going to use over here is the famous ut plus half a t square. Plugging in, I get v0 sine alpha t plus oh sorry it's supposed to be a minus here so it's a minus half g t squared uh, I have two equations I have an equation with oh sorry this is two I have an equation with x and t and I have an equation with y and t but I want to have an equation with x and y because that equation is going to tell me what is the the, the path the you know, what sort of a curve that is so all I have to do is eliminate it. I can use equation 1 and I can say t equals x divided by v0 cos alpha and I'm going to substitute that in equation 2. Maybe I'll call this as 3. So substituting 3 in equation 2. What do we get? We get y equals v0 sine alpha into t which is nothing divided x divided by v0 cos alpha minus half g and a t square so I get an x square v0 square cos square alpha we cancel this I get a tan here so I get y equals tan alpha into x minus half 
gx square v0 square plus one alpha. Okay, <clears throat> now what are the constants over here? Well, tan alpha is a constant. It's not going to change with time. And these things are also a constant. For a given projectile, once you throw them in the air, these things remain a constant. And so I, I can write my final equation in terms of that constant. And so my final equation, which I'm going to write over here, is going to be y equals some constant a minus some other constant b into x squared. This being a and this constant being b. And what you can see is that the equation that connects x and y is a quadratic equation. And you have studied in your high school that when you graph a quadratic equation, you get a parabola. Therefore, this curve is a parabola. Therefore, the trajectory of a projectile is a parabola.